Hello everyone, today I'll be showing how to do t-test using Excel. Here I have data set with group A and group B BMIs. In order to do t-test, first we will need to type in equals t.test and then open braces and then select the required arrays, tails and type. Also the other way to do this is go to formulas, go to more functions, then click on statistical scroll down all the way to t-test and same thing um, array 1, array 2, tails and type so what we are doing here using this t-test function is to calculate p-value of this data so if the p-value is less than 0 0.05 then it falls on rejection reason and if it's greater than 0. 0, 0.5 then it falls under non-rejection reason so if it falls under rejection reason then we'll reject our null hypothesis so for area 1 I'll go ahead and select my area 1 over here and then for area 2 I'll go ahead and select this data for tails it can be either 1 or 2 so if uh, we select 1 we type in 1 when um, we know the direction um, of the data for example if we know the mean value would be greater or lesser then we select 1 but if we are unsure what direction it's it's going then we select 2 for type there are three different types here we can choose 1 2 or 3 or type in 1, 2, and 3, um, which depends on um, type 1 would be if we are doing a pair t test. For example, if we are do, uh, selecting only group A or a group of people um, who are using medication and we want to see if um, the mean value before the medication and after the medication is um, statistically significant or no um, then we select type 1 which is also called pair t test however here in our case uh, it's going to be either 2 or 3 which is on pair t test uh, group we have two different groups group A and group B so this is not a pair t test um, and the difference between type 2 and type 3 is uh, the variance if the variance between two these two groups group A and B is um, same then we type in 2 if the variance is unequal then we type in 3 in our case I'll go ahead and select type 2 and then I will click on done and here is our p-value so our p-value is 0.025 which is less than 0.05 so we reject our null hypothesis hope you like this video um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching bye bye